Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $100 giveaway, you can do that by just entering miracles in the comment section down below, liking and subscribing. But if you are doing well for yourself, let's allow this for our family members who could use the extra come up. With that being said, let's hop directly into this energy. I hope everybody is doing well today on this beautiful, sunny day in PA. This is for all zodiac signs, <clears throat> every zodiac sign. Somebody here is a pathological liar. This person has low self-esteem. They lie to boost their ego. They lie to get out of trouble. They lie, they lie, they lie like a rug. They are trapped, okay? This person's trapped in their circumstances, they feel. They're going round and round in unhealthy patterns. They're going round and round in their head. And for a moment, they were going round and round with you. They could still be going round and round and round. This person here seems to have financial and sexual soul ties everywhere, but they are a manipulator, you all. Be mindful here that this person plays mind games. They do shit on purpose. You'll message them. They'll wait hours to reach out. They'll do some, you know, like dumb shit, like say they're going to pick you up and not show up for, for hours or fall off for days, or they're doing something here like that. This person's doing this because they want to feel you chase them. They feel like that's how they're going to get your attention, or that's how they're going to stay in control of you is by doing things like this. Tell me, spirit, tell me about what, what is this person? Why are they lying? What is up with them for the general collective? for all of my sexy, beautiful. Yeah. Again, they ghost, they ghost, they fall off, they ghost. And then they lie to you about, oh, something came up or they act like nothing happened. For some of you, this person will come in and act like nothing. They'll go dates without talking to you and then just hit you up. Like what's up or, or something of the sort. They could be doing illegal things for money. You could see their Venmo activity, their cash app activity seems like funny, or um, people could be giving them money. They could be getting money from you. They may only contact you when they want money. So please be mindful of that. This person, see for a moment, all you've seen was love with them. You, you literally just wanted to see love. You wanted to just see the the good in them because that's who you are. You, you, you try to see the good in people and it's a beautiful trait that probably has got you in some trouble in your life though. And you're starting to see this person for who they are. This person cannot get you off their mind. Whoever this is, the person on your mind is thinking about you, sending you love telepathically. For some of you, you stood up and said, fuck this. No, they ghosted you and you said, I'm out for the last time. Or they did something here and you just did not, you're not, you're not playing anymore. You may only see love, but you are not playing. This person still cares about you. They always have cared about you. The problem is, is they are a game player and they're trapped in some weird, um, uh, circumstances or bad environment or with a karmic or doing something. They could have ended up blocking you when you stood in your power. For a lot of you, you stood up and said, no more, I'm not doing this anymore. And so they blocked you or you um, could have found out something about them and what they were doing, or you could have seen something and they um, actually blocked you. For some of you, not all, you could have a spirit baby with this person where you um, were destined to have children. It is a baby that is not born yet. It is a spirit baby on the other side. For others, th these are ancestors, okay, um, coming and guiding you and, and talent giving you messages. It just depends on where you are on this journey. For some of you, you feel like you were always meant to have a child to them. In a past life, perhaps you did have a child to them. And this is somebody from y'all's soul family. 
This person wants to retreat with you. For some of you, you could be going camping soon. You could be doing something in nature. Um, you could be going out and, you know, hiking and something. For some, this person lies and says that they're out of service, that they don't have any service. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's something about them lying and acting like they don't have service, and that's why you can't get a hold of them. Yeah, you're being guided here to make a decision when you feel best um, because this person's going to reach out in June. And I feel like for a lot of you, this per person is unorthodox. For some of you, this person has a lisp. They have a, they talk, there's something about their speech. It's a lisp or something. Um, it's time to celebrate love still. Pursue what you love. Something could have happened around Valentine's Day. Some of you could have been born in June, born around Valentine's Day in February. This could be an Aquarius, um, a Cancer here. I feel this person is very moody and, and they literally are not taking the reins of their life. They're just being, staying trapped in bad situations gradual, dragging, creeping. This person, it's going to take a while for some, for this person to actually get their shit together because they just are, are stuck in this bad environment. What is this trap? Why is this person feeling trapped spirit, the collective person? Yeah, because there's tower moment after tower moment after fucking tower moment. Not to mention that I feel like some of you, it was a tower moment when you told this person, peace, see ya, you're not doing this anymore. So they can't be alone. So they ran out and got themselves trapped with a karmic. And this person could be experiencing a lot of bad karma right now. There's a lot of imbalance in their life. They could be dealing with the justice system. For some of you, you have children to them and you it has it's went to the justice system. They're dealing with financial loss here in the five of pentacles. They have financial soul ties to somebody perhaps that gives them money and they can't get out of the situation because they pay this person pays their bills or gives them things or pays their car payment or does something like this. What is this manipulation? This could be a Scorpio, a Aries, a Libra um, on earth sign. You could be, they're watching you is what they're doing, trying to be patient knowing that they put 10 swords in your back, holding off communication, acting extremely foolish here. You're having some kind of victory. It To them, it looks like you're victorious, whatever they're seeing on your social or whatever they're hearing in your community. They are holding off communicating with you in the eight of wands. This could be an air sign or a fire sign in Aquarius, a lot of Aquarius energy. I feel here, you look like you are single, you are abundant, you're standing up, you're standing in your power. You may do well for yourself. You could have given this person money. This could be a person who is an opportunist, who goes with the next best thing. If you do well for yourself, they could have um, you know, thought that they were just going to come in and use you. But it turns out that you all had a soul connection and they really fell in love with you. For others, unfortunately, this person is karmic to you. This is a karmic. This is somebody that you learned a lot of lessons from, and it, it's been very hard to break out of it. I got triggered. I'm trying to impress you. For a lot of you, you do well for yourself, and this person tried to impress you in some way. They could have acted as if they had more money than they really did. They could have acted like the money they had was theirs, but it was really some somebody they had a soul tie with that was paying their bills or giving them money um, and they were spending it on you. I know it sounds crazy, but people do it every day. I'm frustrated with myself and I let my fears get the best of me, this person is saying. I feel for a lot of you here, it's going to be important to make a healthy decision, especially if you have broke away from them. If you have already broke away from this person, I feel you're being guided to perhaps block them if you haven't blocked them yet. Now you will know your story, but know that this person could come in here and they're lying to boost their ego. They're lying to make you feel that they're better than they are. So watch out because they could tell you, they could drive a really nice car, have really nice clothes, and, and they appear to be financially stable, but really in reality, y'all, they're in some kind of lack. 
you're in the nine of pentacles. They're in the five of pentacles. You do not want to be took down to the five of pentacles because this person's vibration alone could bring you down in some way. Their lies, their, their, their demands. I don't know. I feel this person could, um, like want things from you or ask you for things, especially if you have children to them, especially if, um, you've had like a, you know, long-term connection, they could be demanding something. Yeah. See, it's about your vibration. So the divine is, I felt this or, um, your vibe is a gift. It is time to clear your aura and protect it purify and restore your energy. The divine is saying, Scorpio, I, I'm sorry. The divine is saying, please clear your, your, um, aura, clear your vibe, do a energy, um, do something like, um, sage, do a meditation, do something to, um, really cleanse and clear your aura. You have a beautiful, warm aura and this person can lower your vibration by just being around them. I felt that y'all, there's something about your vibration that's very important. If you want to continue to stay, um, in the abundant place you are in life, do not force solutions. Not everything can be fixed. Such times you have to let it die and there will be a new beginning. Not everything can be fixed, right? Sometimes people aren't meant to stay in your life and you're not meant to fix it. If this person comes in here and they want to trap you, manipulate you, lie to you, um, ghost you, block you, come back in, that's not good. That's not healthy for you. And that's not a healthy situation. And perhaps for some of you, unfortunately, it may not be, be worth fixing because it may take you down. So please make healthy decisions. I hope everybody has a very beautiful and very blessed day. Love and light.